Hello and welcome to Amori, a uh, psychological horror surreal turn-based RPG developed by Omocat. And you know, this game has a bit of history to it. I mean, I guess where it originated, it, uh, or where it, where it came from, was uh, from the titular character Amori. Originally, it was a blog, I believe, by Omocat, you know? It was just a blog with some image, just like a little short story, kind of like a webcomic of, uh, of this character. Um, eventually, they decided to make it into like a graphic novel, I believe. Um, at least that's what they started to do. But then they decided, no, actually, let's make a full-blown video game, you know? And this is how this came about. You know, I think it was like six years ago, you know, they started Kickstarter and everything. It took a while. And it was actually quite anticipated, actually. I never knew much about it until, you know, it actually came out. But, you know, a lot of people were kind of hyped about it. And, you know, it seemed like, you know, I think uh, the, the December of last year, 2020, uh, it seemed like it came out with good reviews. So, you know, it, it might have been worth it, you know, or uh, to wait that long, I guess. And yeah, I mean, all I know about it is that it's kind of like a uh, Earthbound-esque kind of RPG, you know, with some Yume Nikki elements, I guess. I mean, at this point, it's kind of like a genre, you know, I don't know what you call it. Um, kind of like a kind of offbeat RPG, you know, the type of RPG that kind of like deconstructs itself as an RPG, maybe. I don't know. Oops, oh, I, bite him. I bumped in my microphone. I have a new microphone. I gotta get used to, I gotta get used to it. It's very big. Anyway, uh, but yeah, Amori. It's a, it's a quirky little RPG, as far as I know, anyway. And I guess... Oh yeah, before I get started, uh, it does have some mature theme content warning, or how the... Mature, mature content warning. Um, uh, it showed it in the beginning of the game, but I don't know if it'll show it again, so I'll just say it here. Uh, it does have some depictions of anxiety, depression, and suicide, so be aware of that. And also, it does have some, uh, apparently, bright flashing imagery. So be careful uh, if you have photosensitive epilepsy, I guess. But yeah, let's uh, dive right in. I've, I've heard good things about this game, so let's try it out. New game. Don't worry. Apparently, don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. No matter what happens. Promise me that we'll always be there for each other. Promise me. Welcome to white space. It's not very white right now. Oh, now it is. It was kind of dark before. It's Amori. That guy. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. It's very white. Ah, yes. Game Boy music. Alright. You start here? Yeah. It's a... Uh, uh, it's an RPG Maker game, by the way. You know, just to mention that. Alright, so we start in a white space. Again, it's very white. Kind of reminds me of the hyperbolic time chamber. You know, in Dragon Ball Z. But anyway, uh, we have a TV. We have a notebook. We have that, you know, that... Symbolic light bulb, by the way, or not symbolic, what's the word? Iconic, rather, because it's in the title, you know, the light bulb, some toilet, uh, I say toilet paper, no, what do you call it? Uh, tissues, it's tissues, and a cat, wow, can I talk to the cat? It's meow, wow. meow, waiting for something to happen, I don't know, 
by the way, the developer Omocat, you know, initially it started off as like one person, I believe, Omocat, but now I believe it's a team now. It's like, you know, several people who work on this game at this point. But yeah, Omocat. You know, when you think about it, it's just an upside down Owo, you know, Owo Cat. <laughs> anyway, I wonder if that's intentional. The M is like a mouth, you know, you just turn it upside down, it's Owo, you know, it's the Owo meme. Owo. Uh, a tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. Oh yeah, it's for tears. That's that's what it's for. You know, it's for tears. And nothing else. Your sketchbook. Take a look inside. Sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, okay. It's a bloody head. Bloody decapitated head. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. La la red. And cats. A lot of symbols that I don't know what it means. I I don't know if it's important to remember that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Not abstract imagery. Oh, there's a Mori, uh, I guess in the bathtub? With his laptop? That's very dangerous. For the laptop. Mm hmm Big snake. Mm hmm mm hmm Cake. Oh, the, the cat person is, is like a cat human. Uh, okay, some, some meat, I guess? And nothing else. Maybe that will fill up later on in the game? I don't know. There's also this laptop. What's inside? What'd you look to do? Stare at the screen. Oh yes, this is what I do. Just stare at the screen blankly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You stare at the screen. Very interesting wallpaper. Just brick walls. There's no there's no icons, you know, no desktop icons. I mean, I guess, do some, do some people do that? I think you can do that, you know? I, I, I'm kind of old school. I still have desktop icons, you know? I don't know. Or like shortcuts anyway. I feel like some people don't do that and they just don't have, you know, Shortcuts at all. I, I guess you could also hide it as well, you know? I believe there's a hotkey that just hide your shortcuts, you know? So you could enjoy your wallpaper, right? I open my journal. Is this like a safe system? No, it's a literal journal. Usually it's a... A journal usually in other video games is usually a metaphor for a safe system. Um... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A lot of these entries are kind of the same. Day... Well, the, well, they're all question marks, but I guess the top left corner Today I spent time in the white space. Everything was okay. And then today I visited my friends. Everything was okay. And then today I visited my friends. Everything was okay. And today I spent time in white space. Everything was okay. And then it repeats ad nauseum. So I wonder, well, sometimes he visits his friends. Sometimes he just spent some time in white space, I guess. That's all he does. That's his journal. Log off. Is there no Wi-Fi? The heat from the laptop warm your lap. It felt nice. Because if there's a Wi-Fi, we go, you know, go watch some YouTube videos or something. But something fell nearby. Hmm, nearby, you say? Can I look at this light bulb, by the way? A light bulb hangs from the ceiling, wherever it is. Look into the light bulb? Sure. Hmm, yes. The light bulb. It's, uh, contrasts, you know, with the white space. It's pitch black inside. You can't see a thing. It's like a negative energy, you know? What was that about like... Uh, I've forgotten at this point. There's like protons and neurons and there's like... Isn't there like a negative energy in real life or something? I forget what it's... I, 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 I've forgotten everything about it. Like quantum, you know, quantum mechanics? Quantum, quantum particles? Or something? Uh... Anti- anti-matter, right? Or dark matter? It's like the absence of matter or something? Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I mean, there's this door, but I kind of want to explore the white space. Am I gonna get lost? I, I press X. I want to save, you know? Oh, oh, there's something. What is this? Hello? Uh-oh. Okay. It just- it just teleports us back. Oh, ah, got me. Oh yeah, what about... Oh, I can run, I think. Yeah, I can shift. Shift, run, run! Ah, eh, 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 eh. oh, damn it. I just end up over here. Go, 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 go. I will escape this room. No, okay, so let's just end up over here. Never mind then. I guess that's it. Anything else, Pat? Waiting for something to happen? Now that's ominous, because maybe if you actually do wait for like hours, something happens? I don't know. Or maybe not. Uh... Let's, there's the sounds, and we can't really leave this area, so... 
or at least you know leave outside within the white space so let's try this door a white door casts a faint shadow what would you like to do do nothing hmm when i open it though uh hello kyokyun by the way i just started uh this game amori oh well now we do nothing i guess just do nothing you stare at the door Interesting door. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can I go behind the door? No? Anything behind the door? I look at our, the side of the door. Oh, I can't leave. I'm stuck here. I soft locked my game. Can't do anything. Look at these tissues. Um, light bulb. Okay, look at the light bulb again. But I don't think it would do anything. It's just a just light bulb. There was a sound though. Where did that sound come from? Just same old, same old. Let's try the door again. Maybe. Maybe I should try to light. Or try the door again. No, I, mean, I guess we do nothing. There you go, sir. Usually the game doesn't the game tell you like controls or something. I mean I know it's like typical RPG maker controls, right? But. I'll try to open a menu. There's no menu to open. Hmm. Hmm. But I do wonder if I broke the game somehow? It feels like I broke the game. It seems to be like a well-done game, though. So I don't think it would break that easily. It's right at the beginning, somehow. You would think, because, you know, uh, apparently there was a noise. I, we, uh, I... Oh, here you go. There's a knife? What? Ah, oh, that's hard. That's, that's... That's easy to miss. I just think in, in cardinal directions, right? North, uh, east, south, and west. I don't even think to go like, you know, uh, southeast, I guess, right in the corner here. All right, so you're supposed to find a knife, I assume. I mean, I, I mean, this seems new, so I assume this wasn't here before, so that's why there was a loud noise. That's where it came from. I got, I got stuck for a bit <laughs> trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. Tried everything. As it turns out, there's a knife here. Got a shiny knife. You know, I just think of like in terms of D-pad, you know? Up, down, left, right. I don't go I don't go like corner. Anyway, I got a knife though. What do you do with the knife? Uh oh, I can open my menu now. Alright. Oh, uh, can I save? No. Hmm. I wonder if it's like autosave or something. Where are my skills? I have a sad poem. It looks sad on a friend or a foe. But apparently this game has some kind of motion system, I believe. It's kind of featured. That reminds me of uh, Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass, you know. That's also a game that's kind of like, you know, kind of similar to Earthbound. And also also has like kind of like a, a motion status kind of system as well. But uh, let's see. Guard? Well, guard is guard, I guess. Typical guard. Whip. Well, I have a shiny new knife. You see your reflection. Wow, that's very shiny. Nothing else? Alright, I guess that's it. Alright, now what? Alright, so I don't imagine... Well, I don't know. Can we use the knife or the door? That would be the first thing you could do. Or maybe you could like slash up these little hand things, you know? They seem to be like enemies. But hold on, let's see. Let's try the door first, though. Okay, you can open the door. So what happens if you... I mean... You seem like enemies. So what happens if I them oh okay i thought you would go into like a battle or something but no i guess no battle here we like uh you know a pokemon battle where you fight some hands some weird wiggly hands but nope you know the little like sticky hand things like little toys you would get from like uh the little like um uh, what do you call them i would say gacha machines they're not well they, they are kind of like gacha machines but you know uh capsule toys you know Sometimes they give you like little, little sticky rubber hands, you kind of like stick it on the wall, you know, or whatever. I don't know if you remember. Back in my day, those are those are the type of toys I had. Uh, open the door. Open the door, get on the floor, everybody walk the dinosaur. Alright. Ah, uh, finally, some color. Yeah, we're still black and white, though. 
Oh, here's Aubrey. Aubrey? How you say your, say your name? Aubrey. 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 Aubrey? You know, I'm gonna look. Well, I was gonna say look it up, but then if I click out of the game, the sound doesn't. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna look it up. I wanna make sure I get the name right. Uh, Aubrey. When I do it, I always complain about how to like how to say certain things, but I should just Aubrey. 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 Okay, Aubrey. That's how. That's what Google says. Aubrey. Hi, Mori. We were hoping that you come by soon. Want to play cards with us? No, what kind of card? What, which what kind of card gives it? Yu-Gi-Oh? Are you gonna duel? We're just about to start another game. Oh, whoops. Never mind. Uh, Kel? Oh man, what the heck, Aubrey? You mess up all the cards. Oh yeah, okay, I guess because she walked over them. I was winning too. Here's Hero. Somebody just named Hero? He seems like he would be the hero then. Uh, hey there, Kel. There's no need to get angry. It's just a game after all. Don't give me that, hero. You only say that because you were losing. And we can walk around. Good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like a quaint little place. Why is there like a weird mask thing on the desk? And also a big cat. Oh yeah, that, that reminds me of the cat, you know, that appears in... Uh, what was that? Ma, what was that anime? Azu manga? Azu something? Dao something? You know? And then it was voiced by Norio Wakamoto. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> How are you? Or something. I don't know, anyway. There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on the railroad tracks. Hmm. It's probably a reference to something that I don't know. It reminds me of Pokemon, actually. Wasn't there, like, a reference in Pokemon in the very beginning? Like, the first game, you, you check the TV and it references, like, a certain movie or something? Something like that. That's what it reminds me of. I don't know if it's the exact same reference, though. There's a flower. A tentacle is poking out of the ground, and such as, you know, such as life, which is normal, I guess. Oh, you got stuffed toy from this watermelon. Uh, okay, she might have not liked that, to be honest. Or maybe I, well, maybe she wanted the stuffed toy or something. Like, I got it before you even asked me. Can I equip the toy? No? I guess it's just a quest item. A photo of someone familiar. Would you like to make toast? Yes. I got some toast. Free toast. You made toast. Can I eat the toast? No? We, we just make the toast just because. It's it's just for the thrill, you know? Of making toast. A fluffy pillow is shaped like the head of a girl. Hmm. Weird. <laughs> Do you just sit on it? Did you, you put your ass on top of the anime girl face? That's kind of weird. Ass pillows? And I've heard of body pillows, but now there's ass pillows? A neatly wrapped present. I guess, well, I mean, you, well, I guess you don't have to sit on it. I first thought was sitting on it, I guess, for some reason. But no, I guess you can, like, put your head on it. I mean, that's the whole point, it's a head pillow. I don't know, I don't know why, but I, the first thing I thought, I'm sorry, but the first thing I thought was sitting on it, I guess. I don't know, I guess it's because, well, I think the reason why, uh, you know, uh, it, my old chair, I think, like, uh, my old office chair lost a lot of the, um, the comfort, you know, of the seat itself. So that's why I did use a pillow to sit on it. So I just assume that everyone does it. But no, actually, it's just me that did it. It's just me that uses pillows to sit on, actually, when I think about it. It's not normal at all, you know? <laughs> yeah. I had to because, the again, the seat just lost all of its, uh... I don't know what we call it. It lost all of its, like, you know, softness. You know, that's why I put, like, a pillow on it. I don't have that problem anymore, you know, since I've got a new office chair. But anyway... A single bean on the plate. Hmm. You gotta cut that up, you know? Just like that Disney cartoon, was it? Just like a clip of like Mickey Mouse or somebody. Or was it Mickey Mouse or somebody? A cartoon character cutting up a bean. Because it's their meal. You gotta share that meal with somebody else, you know? Half a bean. A blender. Present, you already know that. Hmm, familiar face. I wonder who that would be. I guess we might find out. Flower, some holes, also a snake on the stairs. Is it waiting for something to happen? Oh, all the animals are. They think the same thing, I guess. What's up, Amori? We've been waiting for you. 
Cal and Aubrey have been fighting a lot again. You would think they get tired of it after a while, but they're both just full of energy. Yo, Mori, look at what I found the other day. It's a pet rock. Isn't he awesome? A tiny pet rock stares at you from inside Kel's pocket. It has eyeballs. I'm gonna name him Hector. Amazing. Hmm. Yeah, it's a cat-shaped hole. Yeah, I was wondering why it looks like a cat. The same cat we saw in before. Anyway, she does have ellipses on top of her thought bubble. So what does that mean? Why is Kel always so mean to me? You know the other day that good for nothing stole my stuffed toy and hid it somewhere in this room. Why would he do something like that? Also, how did he while well, he put it in the watermelon? How did he do that? It's amazing. He just grow the watermelon around the stuffed toy somehow. Why would he do something like that? He's so immature. I mean, what did I ever do to him? Oh, I know. Can you find my stuffed toy for me, Omori? Free, please. I already have it. Already have it, you fool. It's right here. Is that? Could it be? Aubrey snatched the stuffed toy from you. Hey, Cal. Look, it's my stuffed toy. What the heck? Where did you get that? Amori found it. Lucky for me, I've got some real friends. Serves you right, Cal. You should know better than to pick on others. But Aubrey started it. He was the one who was making fun of me for the mole on my... On your... What? On my butt. <laughs> Aubrey. Fine. Okay. Good. These, these, look at these, like... Friends. These colored in friends. That probably... Well, I guess we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Amori. I knew I could count on you. You're the best. Man... Aubrey always gets what she wants. Hey, Mori, I'm glad that's all settled. Those two always seem to be bumping heads. Marie and Basil invite us for a picnic at the playground. Did you want to go see them? Uh, sure. Alright, everyone. Let's go see Marie and Basil. I can't say it. <laughs> Marie and Basil. Is it, ba is it Basil? Basil? Is it like a... Is it like a herb or something? All right, we have the full party. Wait, you have a stuffed toy. It is Mr. Plant Egg. Makes a weird noise when you when you pinch it. Oh. Uh, what do you have? You have a rubber ball, playground tested, child approved, and you, a hero, has a spatula Good for flipping burgers. You know, have a weird name, but just to be called a hero. You you would think. I mean, I don't know. The first thing I think of is like, you you would think you would name the main character a hero, you know? Like, Amori would be a hero, and some you know, another person would be Amori or something. I don't know. But, uh, I mean, I guess, in, I mean, Japanese is not that weird, you know? But instead of spelling it like H-E-R-O, I guess, there is like a hero. You, you would pronounce a hero, and if you romanize it, it would be H-I-R-O, you know? Hero? That would be like a kind of like a Japanese name, but... I guess. Or at least I've seen I've seen an anime character anyway that's named that. Eh? So I don't know if it's exactly Japanese. Sometimes, you know, anime character names are kind of weird. So it's not always like a typical Japanese name, but anyway. Uh, oh yeah, I want to look at skills as well. Just to see. All right. You can pep talk. Make a happy. What do you do? You can make angry. You can annoy people, and what do you do? You can cook, which heals a friend for 75% of their heart. You will, you will, you can literally reconstruct somebody's heart with the power of food. Wow. You want to play cards? Uh, sure, if we can. Might as well mess around here. Mm, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I play blackjack. Or something. I don't know. I don't know what they're playing. Are they playing poker or something? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Good. Mm hmm. Alright. I guess that's it. It's just a little animation. 
We don't actually get to play, you know, as the player, necessarily. A baseball and a baseball bat. Hmm. Kinda dirty around here, you know? Kinda like a basement. Kinda like a weird, like, dirt basement, because there's a tree here for some reason. Alright. Anything to say, Snake? Huh? Nothing else? Uh, I wanna see that weird plant. Is there like an eyeball on that pot or something? I don't know. Anyway. Actually, did I look at this already? No, it's just a, yeah, it's just a movie again. Did I look at this? Oh, a blender. I thought it was a trophy. No, it's a blender. Anyway, let's continue. Going out to Mori? Here's your allowance for today. Ah, oh, thanks. Got 50 clams. Thank you, Snake Mother. Okay. Trying to climb up the rainbow stairs. And pop out into the forest? Oh yeah, fresh air lass. I love that nature. Well, let's go. Hey, wait a sec. Hmm, got stuck. Help me up, guys. I'm stuck. Only you say please. Hey, stop messing around. Get me out of here. Okay, okay, fine. Now nah, we're just gonna leave you here and no. <laughs> You're just gonna starve to death. Hmm. Took you long enough. Oh, sorry, princess. Well, excuse me, princess. Excuse me, princess Zelda. No, um... Just taking a tree trunk, you know? It's, it's, it's like, it's like a multicolored RGB lighting. It's, it's a gamer, you know, tree. Got cut down in the prime of his youth, but it's still gaming. Um, alright, well, we have... Directions to go. Let's go this way first. I don't know which way to go actually. So like pinwheel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's all normal, by the way. This isn't, you know, it, it totally does not uh, mention that this entire game is like surreal, and so therefore it's gonna, you know, not be exactly like real life. It's actually just gonna be really weird at times, and sometimes probably very abstract. Uh, you're afraid of heights. Me too. Though it's, well, I mean, I feel like everyone has a, is afraid of heights. But it's not necessarily the heights that you're afraid of. It's the, it's the fear of falling, you know? That's the true fear. The fear of falling. To your demise. It's actually pretty scary, actually. I, I, sometimes, I do imagine that sometimes. What, what would it feel like, you know? If you would, you know, accidentally fall off from a, from a tall place. It would just be really scary. You would hope that you would at least, you know, pass out before... Before the end, but you know, you just have like, you know, you have time to think about between the top and the bottom, and th it just doesn't sound like a fun time, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, here's the playground. A bunch of characters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Marie. Basil. Mary, Marie, 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 Mariana. Oh, hello, Abre. Hello, everyone. How are y'all doing today? Kel's being mean to me again. Oh, no. Not again. How could he? Shh, I'm not being mean. Aubrey's just being all whiny. Well, Kel. You've just made a very convincing point. Now I don't know who to believe. <laughs> I don't, I'm just, I just, uh, I just believe everybody. Believe me. Oh no. Okay. Well, I was she being sarcastic? Maybe she was. I mean, I don't know. It's hard to tell through just the text. No, believe me. Ah, uh, settle down, you two. Why does it always have to be like this? Well, chin up, hero. Look at you being all responsible. I really like that about you. <laughs> Come on, Marie. Not now. Oh, well, Hero, I, you know I'm just teasing. You're so cute when you get all flustered. While we were waiting for you guys, Basil and I were going through his photo album. Did you want to join us? 
Of course. After all, we're the ones in the pictures, aren't we? Basil, Basil, get a load of this! Ah, okay, what is he doing? He's uh, T-posing? Or, well, I don't know. Come on, Basil, take a picture of me! Sorry, Kel. I only take photos of people when they least expect it. You like to take photos of people acting naturally when they're not in front of a camera, right, Basil? Uh, what do you call that? Like, candid? Candid photos or something? Yeah. There's something special about everyone living their own lives. Those are the moments I want to capture. So, like, we just have to pretend you're not there? <laughs> well, I, I guess you could put it that way. Sure, I could do that. Do you want us to show your photo album now, Basil? Okay. But it's nothing amazing. Oh, Basil, stop doubting yourself. I'm sure they'll be great. You're right, Aubrey. Sorry. I'll try to believe in myself more. Basil and his flower crown. That just always reminds me of, like, Tumblr. <laughs> I don't know. I never use Tumblr all that much. I use it a little bit. When I first, you know, started like recording videos and all that, but, but didn't, I didn't really, it didn't really pan out all that well. And also that one time when it got nuked because it just deleted all NSFW content, everybody left, I feel like. Um, but there was this one meme, you know, I don't know if it's Tumblr exclusive, but there was a meme where you put flower crowns in, on everybody for some reason. I don't know why, but I guess that's what he did. Anyway, here, this way we can all see. Mm -hmm, took some photos. Some nice photos. Even more flower crowns, by the way. As I said, flower crowns for everybody. What do you call it? There's probably a specific name for it. I've already forgotten. I, I probably knew it one time. But now I've forgotten. Yeah, I was just drinking some water. Uh, let's see. Look at this. Okay. It's Amori and I think Marie or somebody. You can read it, I guess. Oh, yeah, Marie, yeah. Marie is teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Amori and Kel are holding Marie's example. So pretty. Notice that Amori is the only one that's like black and white and always has, has that same expression on his face. It's blank unamusement. He's just unamused by everything. Amori and Kellen gave up and uh, ran off, but Aubrey and I got the hang of it really fast. You know, kind of reminds me of, you know, it's, I mean, Amori, I feel like, I mean, he's supposed to be kind of like someone relatable, right? To the people who play this game. I, I kind of do relate to him in that sense, you know? I, when I was a kid, definitely not very expressive. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I was kind of the same way, actually. I would always have a blank expression on my face. It's not that I wouldn't feel emotions, but like, I don't know. I just didn't bother showing it on my face, I guess. Hero's still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting it. You have to admire his, pers his persistence. Hmm. Everyone seems to be wearing pajamas, by the way. Or, well, I guess heroes are in pajamas. I don't know if everybody's wearing pajamas. Anyway, some watermelons. Mm -hmm. Everyone's eating watermelons. So juicy. Aubrey has some seeds on his face, on her face. Maybe so I should tell her. No, the seeds will stay there forever and they will grow on her face and turn into a watermelon tree or something. I don't think watermelons grow on trees as far as I know, but anyway. Milk. Hell drinking a bottle of milk, his favorite. I shouldn't get too close or he might get my camera wet. Okay, milk. Reminds me actually, I'm lactose intolerant. Um, but actually I've learned you know, there's these tablets called lactase tablets. I never knew actually, but you could eat those like lactase tablets, you know, it's supposed to be like a, I don't know what you call it, an enzyme. I don't know if that's the right word, but you know, it's like a thing that helps you digest lactose in anything that contains lactose just like milk i didn't know that actually i've only learned that recently nobody told me <laughs> yeah i only learned it just just now but you know it's interesting you can actually take lactase uh, lactase tablets in or to in order to enjoy lactose products you know you learn something new every day because i definitely i mean i definitely bought you know a few of those tablets and, you know Probably will maybe try out some things that normally would get, make my stomach hurt, you know, if I try to eat it. Anyway, uh, Marie had a hero take a picture of us. Everyone thinks the flower crown really suits me. For some reason. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, Amori, you know, he seems happy right here, even though he's still black and white. Okay. 
You're all lenient for a smooch. Okay. Cal looks solenoid. Ah, uh, brotherly love. Okay, oh, it's the brothers. All right. Uh, incest? No. <laughs> no. They're just brothers. We're having a picnic today. We really want to take a picture of everyone. Say cheese. As a Mori in the background, still black and white. It's always just black and white for some reason. Uh, there's a Mr. Plant Egg, I guess, by the way, over there. Mm -hmm. Everyone's having such a fun time. And I guess, oh, I, I mean, I guess Hero, you know, I said everyone's in pajamas. Because, you know, this game kind of, I mean, so far, again, reminds me of Jimmy, the pulsating mass and everything. You know, in that game, everything has kind of like a dreamlike uh, atmosphere to it. So I was thinking maybe everyone's in pajamas, you know, maybe because, I don't know, you're just like, it's all a dream you know, or whatever or something like that. But, you know, only heroes in pajamas, so maybe not, actually. After eating, everyone fell asleep. Except Hero and Marie. I'm getting kind of sleepy myself. Alright, mm -hmm. You know, Hero and Marie, I guess they seem to be older. It seems. Everyone else is a little bit younger. All sort of touching hands. What does that mean? What does that mean? They're, they're all... Are they hand-holding? Lewd. Kel said he took a picture of himself on accident, but they don't believe him. Okay. And then some feet. Feet pics. All of our feet in a circle. Can you guess whose feet are whose? Mm, well, actually, it's really hard to tell. Most of them are the same feet. But I, 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 mean, I guess, well... Can I look at Amori again? Oh yeah, Amori is the only one of socks. Okay, it's Amori. The one at the very top, I guess, is Amori. Also symbolic, maybe. How he stands out, you know? How he's, like, different from everybody. Hmm. Hmm. Symbolism. Themes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Alright. I guess that's it? I guess that's it. These photos are also charming, Basil. You really know how to capture the moment. Thanks. I didn't take all of them, though. Marie likes to steal my camera sometimes. Only sometimes. Hey, I have an idea. Did you all want to come hang out in my house? I just finished planting some little sprouts and wanted to show everyone. Come on, they're really cute. Yeah, sure, that sounds fun. Let's go! It's south of the playground, right? Yep, that's the way. Hmm. I think I'll set this one out. You all go on and enjoy yourselves. But if you're feeling wary, you can always stop by one of my, one of my picnics. I'll always, I'll always have some refreshments ready. And you can even save using my picnic basket. What are you talking about? Saving? What is this saving you presume to know about? Oh, thanks, Marie. You are always doing so much for us and saving our games. Bye, Marie. We'll see you again soon. Run along now and have fun. You know where to find me. Okay, big sister. Onesan. Oh, you have like a train of people now. We. Ah yes, some nutritious candy, full of vitamin sugar. Would you like to eat some? Some, some like, necessary uh, nutrition, like fructose, glucose, and sucrose. <laughs> you and your friends feel like new. Good. Where's your picnic basket? Would you like to save? Yes. I'd like to make 500 save files, please. No, only six? Boo. I gotta make I, I gotta make five million save files. I wanna find me. Alright. You know, I don't like picnics. I gotta be honest. I just, I just this picnic just reminds me of like how much I actually don't like picnics. I don't know, maybe I'm just like maybe I'm just like childish or something. Maybe, well I'm the opposite actually, or I don't know what we call it. But like, I, I just don't like the the feeling of like sitting on grass for some reason. I don't know what it is. You know, it's like a combination of things. You know, like there's like insects in the in the grass. It's like, there's, there's like a lot of insects flying around. You know, so I just I don't like to be outside in general <laughs> in nature. Um, but also, it just doesn't feel nice to sit on like grass for some reason to me. I don't know. It feels wrong. It's, it feels like I'm sitting on like 
uh, I mean, I'm sitting on dirt for one, but I, I guess, but also like, I don't know, the texture doesn't feel nice. I mean, maybe it depends on the grass you sat on before, but I just don't like sitting on grass. So, that, so that's why I don't like, I don't like picnics, you know? If there's, I mean, if there's gonna be a picnic, I'd rather sit on a chair or something, you know? But anyway. Not like I, not like I have been to many picnics, however. I'm going to swing to the moon, says Mikael. That, that always scares me, actually. I've always had a fear of swings as well, you know? In combination of fear of heights. What happens if you accidentally, like, swing all the way? I mean, it's probably happened before. I wouldn't know what to do, you know? I, I'm always, When I was a kid, I was always so scared of going up too high, actually. Some kids are the opposite, you know? They love to go as high as possible, but I'm the opposite. Like, what if you go all the way, you know? And then, and then you fall off, and then you hit your head on the bar, and then you just die or something. I don't know. That's my, uh, that's my fear. As you, as mentioned, you know, in, in that game. What was that game again called again? I, f I forget what the game is called, but like... Anxiety game, basically. That weird anxiety game that I did a video on one, one time. My, my biggest anxiety is always just related to dying, by the way. It's just a deep-seated fear, I guess. Anything related to dying. I don't know why. I mean, why? Well, I, I mean, I do know why, because nobody likes to die, right? Usually. Abruptly, anyway. A very violent death. But, you know, I always have fears related to that. No boss zone. Violators will be prosecuted. Hmm. No boss zone. Is that Kirby? No, no Kirby boss allowed, I guess? Kirby isn't allowed. But yeah, fear of death. I wouldn't say it's, um, what is it? It's not a phobia necessarily, though. I mean, there's probably a name for that, right? Like, mortis phobia? I don't know. Um, it's not really a phobia, because when you, when, you know, when, when it's like a real phobia, it's like something you think about all the time, right? To the point where you get stressed out about it, you know? Well, I don't think it's a phobia necessarily for me anyway. Even though I say all the time, like, I fear death, but like, I mean, isn't that normal though? You know, I have like an, I feel like a healthy amount of fear. For death, I feel like sometimes other people don't, you know, they just end up in very dangerous situations. In my opinion. Anyway. I like puzzles. Mm, good for you. I hate puzzles, actually. I'm the opposite. A very difficult puzzle. Oh, the pieces are blank. Oh, those type of puzzles. I've heard of them. Neb. You know, Neb backs backwards is Ben, you know? Is, is, I don't know, is it like intentional or is that, or is his name just really Neb? Who are you? Daisy. Sorry, please don't step around here. I'm picking flowers for someone special. Hmm, someone special, eh? You wouldn't maybe the person wearing flowers on his head or something, maybe? Um, what are you? Hello. Friends. Okay, Charlene. Very tall. Your hair is a little messy. You should, like, call me back a little, you know? Maybe get a haircut? You know, maybe maybe you were in quarantine for a while, you know? I was the same way, too. But you gotta learn how to, like, cut at least your front hair a little bit, you know? You gotta, like, cut it on an like, angle. <laughs> anyway. Building blocks. Hmm. Eternal banana. Eternal banana. The most important item in this game. Eternal banana. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, to progress, probably I'll talk to this character over here, but, you know, I like to explore. I mean, that's what you do with these RPG games, right? Part of the fun is exploration, the interacting or stuff. You know, it's like a little playground. I mean, this is literally a playground, but you know. Nose is my best friend. She can't say much, but she's really smart. Okay, is this Nose? Nose looks occupied. Okay. They have a big nose, I assume? Hard to tell. I guess so. They have a big nose. Eekaboo! Ah! Jump scare. I can't believe this game has jump scares. I mean, by the way, this game has horror elements, by the way. As as I mentioned before, kind of like a content warning, it does have horror elements. Uh, so far, it doesn't seem like it is horror, but you know. Again. Ah, well, it's not as scary as the first time, you know. That's why I don't like jump scares. Jump scares are like, I don't know. People say it all the time. They're kind of cheap, right? It's more about, less about being scared, it's more about, like, just a surprise, right? Anything that surprises you, obviously, will kind of, like, increase your heart rate, but you're mistaking that for fear. It's not really fear, it's just, you know, being jumpy, I guess. Jump scares. 
But having fun takes too much effort, so watching my friends have fun is enough for me. Hmm, same. I feel the same way. A lot of the time. You know, it's just, it's to, you know, sometimes you don't, you don't want to like, you know, do anything that requires energy. You just want to relax. At least that's how I spend my free time, by the way. I just, I prefer to relax, you know? I'm not the type of person that goes to like parties or whatever, or anything like loud. I like, you know, my idea of fun is like, just, just like have like a, a quiet afternoon, not do much, just relax, you know? That's my type. That's my idea of fun. I don't know. I'm kind of boring. But anyway. Up. Oh, and a hop. And a hop. And a hop. Yeah. Mm, I can't. I can't. I can't top. Person top. Ah. Oh, okay. I scared them. I jump scared them. Amazing. Who are you two? Sean. The grass sure feels nice here. Want to join some more? Sure gaze at the sky a little bit, which is actually space. It's actually like weird space with like some drawings. The stars shine brightly overhead. You don't have a care in the world. Amori learned observe. You can now observe. You can use your eyes. What does that do? Uh, predicts who a foe will target next turn. Mm, interesting. That could be, you know, important. Maybe in an actual turn-based RPG battle, which we haven't done yet, but maybe it's important to know that. Night's a perfect night for stargazing. Yes, it is. I mean, I feel like it's always nighttime, you know, in this world. And I guess, is that it? I think I, ta I, think I talked to everybody. Can I sit down on the bench? No. I haven't really explored all the other areas, I feel like, but I don't know if we need to. Probably go back anyway later. Mm. What was this? A yo-yo. Oh. You know, I never, I, I was never any good at yo-yos. People always do like these cool tricks, like around the world, you know, or like walk the dog or whatever it is. I never know how to do it, you know. I just kind of do like the no, the basic yo-yo back and forth, up and down. That's it. I don't know how to do any tricks. It's hard. A suspicious blue mailbox. Mm. Why is this suspicious? Why is it sus? I don't know. Alright, we can go down, but let's talk to... Well, can I talk to this person over here? This Kappa? It looks like a Kappa. Maybe it's not a Kappa. Burly talks so fast when she's excited. It gets really hard to keep up. Okay. Well, let's talk to this person. Hey, Burly, guess what? I got some plans today. Big plans. Just stay put for a while. You'll see what I mean soon enough. Okay. Hey, Murray, guess what? I got some plans today. Big plans. Just stay put for a while. See what I mean soon enough. Alright. Oh. Hey, wait just one second. Where do you th where do y'all think you're going? You can't leave without joining us for a game of hide and seek. Stay and play with us. The more the merrier. You wanna play hide and seek again? But you know how this turned out last time. Yeah. Sorry, Burly. I think you're gonna have to pass. We're going to Basil's house now. So, I'll catch up with you later. Not so fast. You guys trying to avoid me again? What's up with you two? Is it my face? My rough and tough exterior? At least I'm not as bad as boss. It's a good thing I banned him from the playground after what happened last time. I wonder what that more is up to now. Eh. Good riddance. Okay, so boss, there was a sign, you know, no boss allowed. Like, I was thinking like a literal boss fight, but no, I think maybe it's just, it's just somebody named boss. 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 Big boss. So, you want to play hide and seek, Basil? I could go either way. There's no rush to get to my house after all. I think I'll leave it up to Amori. What do you want to do? Do you want to do this side quest? Amori, Amori, my best friend. Come on, you know how to play hide and seek, don't you? Oh, this is a leading question. This is what a lawyer would do, you know, in the court of law. They just say, you know how to play, you know, hide and seek. Whether you say yes or no, it's still an affirmation. Um, uh, yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. What's stopping you then? 
Come on, let's play. I'll round everyone up. Alright, we have to do this. Tan Hut! It's football now, apparently. Alright, maggots. Here's the rules. We're gonna be inter entertaining ourselves with a little game of hide and seek. It's a hide and seek with battle royale rules. So everyone gets an AK-47 and you gotta start blasting each other. No, um, here in my hands, I got some straw, see? Everyone here has got to pick a straw. The one with the shortest straw has got to be it. And we'll have to find everyone else. Sounds easy enough, right? I don't I have no idea what Burly sounds like, to be honest. It's hard to tell. I mean, the, the, the screen is very small for me. I'm not sure what they look like. It seems like they wear the gla glasses, I think. And I don't know. It's hard to tell you know, how to imagine what the voice would sound like. I'm just, I'm giving a weird voice. I don't know. We all got our straws? Good. And let's see who's gonna be it. It's probably, I mean, it's probably us. Well, well, well. Looks like the one with the shortest straw is Amori, the player character. Oh, wait, Amori is it? But Amori doesn't like to be alone. Are you gonna be okay, Amori? I can take your place if you want. I don't mind, really. Hey, I hear you plotting over there. The straws make the rules, not me. Come on, don't be babies. It ain't so bad. Amori will be fine. And you're ready to play? Walk up to the tether. I can do the tether ball pole and close your eyes. And no peeking or else. Okay. Don't worry, Amori. I know you'll be okay. You can do this. I believe in you, Amori. You got this in the bag, buddy. You'll be fine, Amori. Just believe in yourself. Believe in the me that believes in you. No scales. I wonder when, where me and No should hide. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where to hide. I'm not creative at all. Huh? Yay, it's time to play. The weird creatures. This looks like pudding. It's just pudding. Ah. Uh. I feel sleepy. Macau? I don't think... Where were... I, I didn't see Macau. Where, where was he? I don't know. Where were they? I don't know. Charlene? I'll try my best. Hmm. Can I even hide anywhere around here? Also, this person has candy on their back. I don't know. Okay. Oh. Hey, where do you think you're running off to? Get back here. I wanted to save the game. Yeah. I need to save the game. No. No. My save anxiety. That's another anxiety. I have save anxiety, I guess. Not really, but... I really like saving the game. I, I need to save the game every 10 seconds. I don't know, well. Just examine the pole when you want to start. Come on, Amari. Don't be a baby. Hmm. I don't have a bad feeling about this, but... Sure. I mean, it's just a game of hide and seek, right? Don't worry about it. Five, four, three... Two, one. 